Hello, Scrabble here. This time I'm coming at you with some Horizon Chase Turbo. I know I've never done racing before on the platform, but Horizon Chase is just the nice kind of feel that I enjoy. I was a big fan of Top Gear for the Super Nintendo back when I was a little Scrabble youth, and I am very excited about getting back to it. I have played this a little bit before, but not too much, so let's give it a go. Uh, I can take a red car. Oh my god, there's 35 cars. Okay, but I only have two unlocked. So why don't we just take the default red, no upgrades installed. Let's give it a go. I'm going to assume this works how I think it works. Grass Hills. So far, so good. Looks like I hold right trigger to accelerate. I am doing this with a controller, and I am on PC. Ah, they kept me from the tokens. You do want to collect those tokens, from what I recall. Also fun is that the soundtrack for this game is done by the same guy who did the original soundtrack for Top Gear. Like, this feels just so much like the like the old games. It's crazy. I like to give a little boost on straightaways, which I've done. Uh, I do not like to hit people. Fun fact, in real life, I used to be a terrible driver. I was in so many accidents. It's crazy. All right. This is where I like to do this. Got those and grab the gas. I do get points at the end based on whether or not I got the gas. We want to grab as many of the blues as we can. Now, if I remember, there was stuff on the left side of the road. There it is. We got it all. Fantastic. Okay, around this turn, we're going to do one more turbo. And then we want the gas so that we can have full gas, hopefully, coming across the end. Achievement unlocked. The first of many. I don't know about that, but this is first place. Here we go. Collect all the tokens. Full gas. As many points as we could possibly get. Super trophy. Plus 10. New best. Can't do any better than that. And away we go. All right, we're going to do Rocky Road. I don't know how much of this I'm going to play overall, but I definitely wanted to give it a spin on this channel for a while. Just hard to do. This isn't the type of game that, uh, you know, people that used to see me play. I am not a racer by any means. I am definitely not a sim racer. I am more of an arcade racer when I do race. Like Forza, Gran, Tur Gran Turismo, those are not my thing. And I think Forza is a not, I think that's supposed to be an arcade racer, but this is the kind of arcade racer that I feel. Ah, oh, when I feel arcade racers. Grab those. Keep that strong. Oh my gosh, this race is not going to go the way I want. Two laps to the left. I'm going to have to double turbo just to make proper use. Oh, I used to play Top Gear down in my best friend at the time in his basement. We would usually play through the game like probably once a week. Start to finish hardest modes, try different cars, all that stuff. I had a really great time with it, actually. Like, those are good memories for me. All right, so we have missed one on the right-hand side. Ah, oh, I should have laid on the brake a little bit by the end of the race. And I'm still in third. Okay, so we got one on the right-hand side. Okay, where are you? Grab that, and there should be one over here, right? There it is! Got him. Woo! 
think we did it. I think we super trophied. Oh, I did not quite get it. Oh, it still counts. Okay, it's just plus nine instead of plus ten. Get first place in all tokens to get a super trophy. Well, hey, good news. We got two, buddy. All right, and sunset. New car unlocked. Bliss, a white car. It was a white car. Ooh, I need a bigger garage unlock. A car achievement gotten. It was a white car that I loved the most in the first game because it was had the best gas usage. And here, fuel is 3.8. Acceleration is fastest in this one. I don't know if fuel higher or lower is better. This car seems all right in terms of uh, handling is higher, the acceleration is better, top speed is lower, fuel is high on here, which I think is good. Nitro is worse, but let's give it a go with the blue car for this one. I like the fact that acceleration is faster and handling is good. So it's called Sunset. I love the colors. I wonder if this is going to... Uh, Get darker and transition tonight as we go. Brake. Oh, brakes are for suckers, man. Oh, I'm probably not getting all these. I think that was a nitro. Woo! Yeah, I played a bit of this on my Switch before. Hey, the graphics are better on PC than they are on the Switch, no question. In case you're curious. And playing with a big controller is better. I usually play on my Switch Lite. Which does not have... That's like the world's tiniest controller. All right, we got those. Is this the final lap? No, we got one more. Good, because I just missed a couple looking at whether or not it was the final lap. There's so many riffs in here that just call back to the original game. Like the original Top Gear soundtrack, I love it. I also remember playing a bit of Top Gear 3000. Actually, I borrowed that off of a friend back in the day. Uh, we've got one more lap. We don't, so we did not get all the tokens. I'll come back in and get those another time when I am not recording. Woo, five seconds ahead. Nice. Yeah, that's sad. No super trophy. Super trophy will be had another time. Well, I got a gold cup for here. And see, it shows two super trophies. And we do the uh, upgrade here. Finish third to upgrade all your cars. I will. I'm going to drive the same blue car. If turns giving you headaches, try and break. All right, let's give it a go. Yeah, Top Gear 3000 took place in the year 3000. You had like flying, like hover cars or whatever. The upgrades in it were super cool. I like that the original game didn't have upgrades, but if you're gonna have upgrades, like the futuristic upgrades made more sense. I pumped my brakes to see if maybe they could stop giving me brake information. Ah, I'm just gonna pump my nitro to get back in. There we go. I like this race, super fast. And I boarded off a friend who never really got into it, and I got all the way to the very end circuit, and I let him know, and he took it back. 
He was like, I can't have someone beat one of my games before I've beaten it. Took it right back from me. I was crazy. Never ever went back and finished it, but I really enjoyed there was one upgrade for your car that kind of like slingshot you off the car in front of you. That one I loved. It was just such a cool idea that you couldn't do with like a modern racer, definitely a futuristic racer. And it was such a way to get so far ahead of the pack. Oh no! No, 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 no. Good thing I got the acceleration car. We're good. New upgrade unlocked. So, suspension is speed and steering. Air intake, speed and nitro. Or speed and acceleration. Speed and acceleration is good. But I also like speed and steering. I mean, if I stick with this car, the steering is good. So I'm going to grab speed and acceleration. I don't know if by the end of the game you get everything unlocked or if you just get some unlocked. I have I have no idea how it works. Um, I think we're going to maybe do one more. Oh, yeah, it's got two two different races. We'll just do this once. So you can see now top speed is 134 and acceleration is 4.8 seconds instead of what was it before? 5.1? Everything's a little better all around. I wonder if everything gets maxed out or some cars get maxed by the end and then coming back to these ones is easier. I have no idea. All right, we have one nitro per lap. Oh God, that was bad. <laughs> All right, well, that was a waste of my nitro on the first lap. Hopefully the next one's fine. Oh, interesting. I usually assume that the better lines are there for that, or that the tokens are there to, like, let you know what the better lines are. Help you become a better racer, but it seems like sometimes they're really close. Not quite. Did pretty good, though. Uh, are there more? Did I miss some? Did miss some. I think I got all those this time. I'm not sure. Definitely want all those. Oh, the music is so damn good. And I love the graphics. I love the colors. There we go. I did get them all. Okay. I just want to make sure I get the gas. As, oh, as I'm coming through for max points. Then I got an acceleration boost. I missed the gas. Well, I did the best I could. That was five seconds ahead. Oh, there were 15. It's also actually quite nice that even if you can fly through, there's still something to do when it comes to the tokens. It's all about learning to overtake your adversaries and not mess up. Three laps, one nitro, her. I want to do it around the first hairpin turn. Ah. Ooh. So on the inside, my next lap would be good. Out of my way, bud. On the inside. Nope. 
have a really hard time doing this then. Oh my god. So your boy is not having a great time with this particular race. I'm messing up all over the place. Oh my god. I probably should not have just popped a nitro right there, but I want to try and get back in it. Where did I get one short? One short and a third place finish. That is not. Oh, and I was less than a second behind first. Actually, I was right next to second. Not my shining moment. And one token short. 80 out of 125. How terrible can you do, huh? Alright, well that is where we are going to stop Horizon Chase Turbo. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. Send me a comment more than anything else. That is what I would like. Let me know if you want to see more Horizon Chase and then I'll happily do so. As for now, take it easy, and I'll see y'all next time.